shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much What shall I render? Shall I render to Jehovah? tell you I want to hear that again because uh, I, I tell you I would dance if you wouldn't be offended amen praise God hallelujah what shall I render to Jehovah for he has done so very much for me you, you know I, I find that you know, we're, we're just Africans. And, and I realize that throughout the Caribbean, we, we identify with our roots more than anybody else, really. And so, you know, and I, I, I've seen when I was in Africa, they, they tried to get the Africans not to dance. But man, I'll tell you what, it's trying to tell David, don't dance when you see the Ark of the Covenant coming back into Israel. Oh, the, the two can't work together. And you know, I, I, you, you would wonder, why is it that when they sit here, the people are way back there? Because the people need space to dance. Because dancing is an integral part when they go to church. Amen? That's the way they worship God. And so, you know, when I was preaching in Ghana, I, I made a statement, I said, you know, I was preaching on the adoption of, 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 of Solomon, and I said, if, if God didn't want somebody to dance, he should not have anointed David to be king. Woo! Man, I'll tell you what. Amen. You talk about rejoicing. Amen. You, 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 people try to say, well, you, you know, you, you got to be a certain way when you come to church. When you come to church, you need to express yourself to your God. Amen? And, and, and the people, you, you know, there, there's some things you can take from a people that, that make them, you know, not exactly what they are. If you take their language. Amen? They, that's right. The, the best way to express yourself is in your own language. You're, you're telling somebody, speak proper English. And they can't express themselves because that's not the way they think. You, you know, and you, you've got to worship God a, a certain way. You've got to say things a, a certain way. Hey, listen, God is not in, interested in those things really. Amen? God is interested if you cross your T and that your high and, and all of that really. Oh, let's all get excited. Go tell somebody that Jesus Christ is king. Amen. Praise God. How many love him this morning? Shake somebody in and say, God bless you. God bless you. You can get past your past. You can walk away from painful memories. Past your past. You don't have to be alone. You can stand upon the word of God. Your yesterday can let Jesus bring you past your path And you can go on Hallelujah Shake somebody in and say, God bless you God bless you This morning, I welcome you all in the house of the Lord Amen And if your name wasn't called this morning in a special way Amen. I said special greetings to you this morning. Amen. Praise God. I'd like us to turn our Bibles to the book of 2 Kings chapter 5. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to speak this morning on humbling, humbling thyself. Amen. Praise God. You know the Bible says in St. Matthew. Hallelujah. Whosoever shall exalt himself 
shall be abased. And whosoever shall humble himself shall be exalted. Amen. Praise God. 2 Kings 5, and let me read from verse 11. And we, as we find it, may we just bow our heads everywhere. Almighty God, we come before you this morning. Lord, we come with our cups lifted up, God. Heavenly Father, bowing our knees and our hearts before you. Realizing, oh God, that we're nothing before you, God. But Lord God, if you choose vessels of clay to speak through this morning, then Lord God, we humble ourselves before you. Forgive us of our sins and our mistakes, God. And Lord God, we pray that as we come into your presence, uh, Lord God, we claim holiness, righteousness. Uh, Lord God, may it not be our desire, but yours this morning. Lord God, may you lead us according to your word. Lord God, you know every need that is in the house this morning. And Lord God, you are Jehovah Jireh. Lord God, we pray that, oh God, you answer to every need. Lord God, we know that you're infinite this morning. There's nothing hidden from you. Oh God and Lord God we pray that you answer oh God to every heart this morning Lord God every man might be dwelling at a different place this morning but Lord God you're the one that can reach down and touch a place on the inside where no human can touch bless us this morning God as we look to you this morning and believe you in Jesus name we pray amen and amen but Naaman was wrought and went away and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me and stand and, and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hands over the place and recover the leper. Are not Abana and Farpar rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean. So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servant came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How oh, much rather then when he said to thee, Wash and be clean. Hallelujah. Amen. Then went he down and, and dipped himself seven times in Jordan according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child. And he was clean. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of the word. You may be seated. In the message life, 1957, I say, then if we have Zoe, God's life in us, we become sons of God and amateur creators. I said, cause he said, whatsoever you say, believe what you say, he shall have it. How many believe that this morning? Hallelujah. And I've noticed that uh, a lot of times I'd say things uh, that I could hardly think myself. Uh, but say it anyway. I come to find out uh, it did happen just that way. I'd say things that I did hardly, didn't mean for, for it to happen that way. But did anyhow because I said it. I thought, wait a minute. So I said... You see, when you speak anything, I said, church, when you speak anything, is something is anchored to us. We should never speak it till we believe it. Then when we believe it, we speak it. And that creative word goes out. It's a part of God. Hallelujah. And it creates. Amen. You know, the Syrians had I mean, invaded Israel. 
and they took from Israel amen, a, a young woman a maid and she was at the house amen, of Naaman the captain of the army amen, of, the Syri of the Assyrians and there she was and she realized that her master amen, was a leper and you know she said to the woman of the house she said you know Amen. If this man would have, amen, inquire of the God of Israel, then the God of Israel would heal the leprosy. Hallelujah. And so, you, you know, the woman, she, she going out of concern. Amen. She tell her husband, amen, what this maid, this little maid had said. And so they, they, they brought the word, amen, to the king of, of the Assyrians. And the king of the Assyrians, he prepared a letter. And in this letter, he, he sent the letter king to king, to the king of Israel. Hallelujah. And said that, listen, the captain of my army is a leper. And I believe uh, if you inquire, hallelujah, your God, you go, or he didn't talk about, he said, I believe that you can make him well. And so the king uh, got the word by this letter and the king, uh, he rent his clothes uh, and he was mad. Uh, he said, what would they think about me? Am I God that I must heal this man? Hallelujah. And he was so mad, everybody hear about the king being mad. Why is he mad? Because the king of the Assyrians had sent him a letter, a letter that he could heal Naaman. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, hallelujah. Amen. There was a prophet in the land. And the prophet hear about it. And the prophet understand his stewardship before God. Hallelujah. The prophet realized uh, this is not a job uh, for the king, uh, but for God himself. And the prophet know him and his responsibility uh, that he's a steward for God. Hallelujah. So he come to his king uh, and said, listen, give me the letter, man. This is not your job. This is my job. Hallelujah. Glory. You, you got to know your calling. You got to know your position. You got to know what authority you are coming with. And, and when Elisha, amen, get the letter, he bring it to him. Hallelujah. They send Naaman. Go down to the prophet's house. Hallelujah. The prophet will deal with the case. But when Naaman called, you know, his chariot. Amen. Pull up at the gate. Amen. Of the prophet Elisha. Hallelujah. And you realize, you thought now this, this mighty man of valor. Name and captain of the house of the king of Syria. A great man. With his master honorable. Hallelujah. Because he had given deliverance over many you think now that the, the little lowly prophet would have come down and, and meet this big man and give homage to him and all of that. Elisha didn't come out of his house. But Elisha sent a messenger. I tell you when God began to work, it's not the way you think. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. Uh, so when God begin to work, uh, he don't work by your intellect. Uh, he don't work the way you think. Uh, he work by his own will. So here now the prophet, who should have come out, he think, uh, to meet him, send a little messenger. Go tell Naaman. Go tell Naaman. Go down to Jordan. And wash, dip yourself uh, seven times. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. And when Naaman hear that, he said, who him think him is? Oh, who him think him is? 
Do you know who I am? For him to tell me where to dip. Hallelujah. When he must send me down a Jordan. And Jordan not even clean. Because down in Syria, in Damascus, we've got better river, better fountain, cleaner water. I want you to hear me somebody. Hallelujah. Brethren, it's not where he tell you. But you've got to realize uh, there is a prophet in the land. Uh, and if there's a prophet in the land, uh, then his voice uh, is a voice uh, of God. Oh, glory. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. So, hallelujah. Nehemiah, when him hear the messenger, him, him get rot, him get mad. Oh, holla, him get hungry. Are you there with me? And him wheel round him chariot. Him going back to Damascus because the king sent me unto the prophet. The prophet sent a messenger to tell me go down a dirty Jordan. Go what, oh Jesus? So he turned back the chariot. And he's going back. Uh, amen to Damascus. Uh, hallelujah. When he's going back, I tell you something, man. God uh, always uh, have a little bird, uh, have a messenger, uh, have a little dove. Uh, amen to talk to you somehow. Uh, hallelujah. And his one servant uh, looking at the case, uh, looking at the situation. Uh, he said, My master, respect man, R -r respect master. But, but let me ask you a question. If the prophet that tell you go do some great things, is that right? If God had set you up to be in a certain place, you would have served God. But where God placed you, you're not satisfied. Oh, let me tell you, he's no respecter of persons. Hallelujah. Glory. You see, brethren, there's something about it. When you're a leader, you first must learn to follow. Nehemiah never had that. He thought that because of who he is, then the God of Israel would respect him for his position. Are you there with me? So God got to deal with him a, a certain way. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, you know, if lightning flash and thunder roll, then that is God. Amen. But if God come in a still, small voice, amen, that's not what I want to hear. No, sir, I want to say lightning flash. I want to say thunder roll. I want to say a great army. I want to say a great parade. I want to hear bugle blow. Amen. I want to say marching band. Amen. Then I will believe. But God come in a still, small voice. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me ask you, Master, if the prophet had tell you to go do some great thing, would you do it? And he said, sure. Amen. Because then he would respect my authority. He would respect who I am. He would respect me for the battles that I've fought and the victories that I have. Amen. Those battles that you fought, those victories that you had, had nothing to do with God. But God bringing you to a place to recognize Him. Oh, humble thyself. Humble thyself, uh, for he that humbled himself uh, shall be exalted. Oh, yes, uh, but he that exalted himself uh, shall be a beast. Amen. You know, when we come to the house of God, amen, I want to ask you what we come for. 
You know, somebody might come because, uh, amen, well, you've got a new dress this week, uh, and you want everybody to look, uh, amen, how well said it is, uh, amen, that it fit you just right, uh, and you can't help wheeling in the mirror, amen, because you are satisfied, uh, and you think God is satisfied, uh, amen, with who you are and what you have, uh, amen, that's not what God wants. Are you there with me? Amen, you think that God wants you. Amen, for your accolade. Amen, and some people in church. Amen, they can't help. Amen, but tell who they are. Amen, what their achievement is. Amen, may I tell you. Amen, God didn't call you because of that. Are you there with me? Amen, you think that because of who you are. Amen, you can get away with anything. Amen, and God, look out. No, God is not like that. So he said to Naaman, Naaman, if the prophet had tell you to do some great thing, would you have done it? Hallelujah. But here Naaman will go glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Naaman was wrought and went away and said, behold, I thought this is my thinking. Me think you would have recognized who I am. Are you telling me? I thought he would surely come out to me. Hallelujah to me. I thought he would come out to me. Because I'm a mighty captain. And he's a little. Hallelujah. See, hallelujah. Amen. He's a little seer. And the seer should have come out. Come bow down before my chariot. My bears never seen a chariot this great. To give honor to me. I thought, hallelujah, I thought, hallelujah, he will stand and call on the name of the Lord his God. Amen, strike over the place. Hallelujah, glory to God. You see, I know how, amen, God should do it. And if God don't do it like this, it is not God. Oh, Hallelujah. I thought he would have strike over the place. Hallelujah. And recover the leper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I wonder if him know that we have better streams in Damascus. There are some people who think that if they come to the church, they come, hallelujah, pay your homage. These people who think that they grant you a favor if they come to the house of God. Hallelujah. And so if I come to the house of God, amen, you're going to treat me a certain way. Because if you don't treat me that way, me now come back. People think, Brother Simit, if they come to the house of God, you've got to give them honor. Because if you don't give them honor, then they're not honorable and they're not coming back. I'm going to go to a house that honor me. Hello, somebody. But may I tell you this morning, you are not the honor of the house. Woo! Are you there with me? The house is no more honorable because you are there. Come on with me, somebody. He's a rat. And so it's you that come to give honor to a greater power than yourself. God grant you a favor. That's why you're here this morning. There are some people who would love to be a place like this this morning, but they are behind bars. There are some people who would love to be in a place like this, but they are in the hospital. There are some bodies who would love to be in a house like this, but they are in the dead house. Some people who would love to be in a house like this, but they are in Ham's house. Some in King's house, but you are in the house of God. Hallelujah. Glory. This is a great house than King's house. 
a great old San Amzos, a great old San Gilos, a great a place and hospital. Hallelujah. And the nice house that you come from, this is a better house than that house. Whoa. Hallelujah. So listen, it's not you that is honored in this house. No, sir. Hallelujah. And you might say, sir, that I pay money to build this house. May I tell you, the house is greater than you. Hallelujah. Elisha should have known. If Elisha a prophet, Elisha should have known whose chariot is that at his gate this morning. Eh? And he may come out to meet me. Oh, Jesus, my Lord. You, you, you know what they say about Jesus? And a man come born blind, well, and from his mother's womb. And it's in Matthew 23. And the Bible said him spit in his sand and make mud and wipe it. Lord have mercy now. And wipe it in the man high and tell the man go wash yourself in the pool of Shalom. Go wash yourself in the pool. Hallelujah. And the man obediently humble himself. He never said man where I do. Where I put spit and mud on me eye, but he humbled himself. Might be never know who the man is, but he humbled himself. Hallelujah! And because he humbled himself and wash, Woo! his eyes were open. And the Bible said, "Come back at the temple." And the Jews asked him, "Who, who opened your eye?" Me no know a man. I never seen him before. Hallelujah. But they say, listen, him can be a man of God because him do it on the Sabbath day. Lord Jesus. Woo! Oh, I tell you, somebody said, my enemies, they see me walking on water. And they say, it's because I can't swim. Oh, come on with me, somebody. Before they exalt you, they put you down. Are you there with me? Because they can't give the God in you the glory. Hallelujah. But I tell you this morning, if we ever amount to anything, it's not because of our goodness. It's because of the grace and the mercy of God. It's because the Bible said, uh, and I believe it, uh, goodness. Uh, come, 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 come here, brother Kevin. Come here, brother. Yes, oh, hold on, hold on behind me. There. Follow me. The Bible said, goodness uh, and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord hallelujah and inquire in his temple hallelujah Jesus hallelujah, hallelujah. I tell you, when you're in God, when you're in God, they can't stop you. Some say you wouldn't make it. Uh, some say you wouldn't be here today. So some say they're giving you the baptism water to drop off. But here I am. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus they, they ask the man they ask the man what you say about him what kind of man he is 
the man says a prophet. Hallelujah. Jesus. And when they couldn't get no further, they said, me no know him, go ask him. They go to the man, mother and father. They said, we don't know who the man is. But one thing we know, our son was born blind. And now we see. Hallelujah. You know them tell him, give glory to God. But as for this man, we don't know about him. He's a sinner. Ah, then he asks them, can a sinner, talk to me church, can a sinner open the eyes of the blind? Hallelujah. Glory. Brethren, don't look at the package. Mm. Don't look at the package. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Paul, so we have treasure in earthly vessels. Hallelujah. So Naaman said, if Elisha was a prophet, Elisha would have known right away who I am. You see, there's people who are waiting to be treated special by God. Amen. You see, I have a soul to be saved. And you know, me not ready for save yet. And you see, when me ready for save it, when me go to church, me go to church where who? Me go be the best. Eh? You, you, you see, when me go for sing, because me can't sing, you know. Hallelujah, they feel like hey, Amen, I've got a soul to save I mean, I'll not save it yet I mean, I'll not save it to your church Amen, hey, I'll wait for God a place Amen, hey, where people honor me Where people love me Hello somebody Where people don't talk about me Sin, go on a Jehovah witness They won't talk about it Hello hey, Amen, but I tell you where the spirit of the Lord is There is liberty Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. In Damascus, uh, we've got waters better than Israel. May I not wash in them? Why you not send me go wash in them? Hallelujah. And be clean. So he turned and went away in a ridge. I go wash seven times, you know. When at the wrong river. Lord of mercy. Amen. And his servant came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather then when he said unto thee, Wash and be clean. Oh, hallelujah. You see, consider your ways. Consider your ways. Consider your action. Consider your walk. Come on, consider your testimony. Oh, I want you to hear me. The prophet said, never let your testimony be negative. Ezra, never give the, 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 the devil glory for what God is doing in your life. Ezra, hallelujah. Amen. In the message, accept God's gift. Amen. He said, don't have a negative testimony. Hallelujah. You, you, you see, hallelujah, there has to be a request. Prior and praise is a right. Because if your motive is right, if your objective is right, God will hear you. Is a right. Never let your testimony be negative. Every time when you confess, well, I still feel bad today. You go right straight back to the same road that you was at the beginning. Hallelujah. There's not a man or a woman in here. Amen. That is baptized with the Holy Ghost. But what would start your confession? I believe I've lost my Holy Ghost. I believe it's gone from me. No, you wouldn't say that. You'll go right down. Hallelujah. Can you listen closer? You'll never live above your confession. And if in your confession... You're always putting yourself down. You always will be down. If you name yourself a papa, you will be a papa. Hello. If you all come to the point that I can't, I can't, I can't, you never will. But the Bible said, I can 
do all things through Christ. The mountain before you might look impossible, but it's impossible to you where you are, but it's not impossible to God, for all things are possible with God. And when you put God in the picture, he's a right. If there's a storm, put God in the picture. Hallelujah. If there's a battle you're going through, let God fight your battle for you. He's a right. Whatever it is, don't take it out of his hands. And many a Christian do that sometimes. They take the battle out of God's hand. You know why they do it? They say, me wait too long. I pray too long. Hallelujah. Me not sit down and wait. Hallelujah. Action. And they take the action in their hands. But when Christ is in the vessel, you can smile at your storm. Hallelujah. You, you know, yesterday I hear, amen, the brothers were talking as we work. The brothers say, you know, amen, they can't shift with razor. Because if they do, amen, they've got bumps and amen, it's aggravating and it feels bad. And so, you know, I had that problem. I remember when I was down in Liberia. And in Africa, they used 220 volts. Uh, and you know, I, I bring my little machine because that's why I, I had to use for shaving. Because if I ever use a razor, I'm filled with bumps. And you know, when I get it there, I could use it. Because the voltage was too much. The machine, you could hear it a mile down. And so I couldn't shave with it. So I borrowed a razor. And I shaved my face. And on my way back from, like, from Sierra Leone, I was in New York. And my face was sore. Bumps everywhere. And I was thinking, Lord, if I'm going to travel like this, I've got a big problem. And I was at home and I stood there at the window of the bathroom and my face aggravating and I was looking through and I was thinking about the third pull and I said Lord you care even about the little things in our lives Lord God I've got this problem and I don't know what to do about it I wish I could take a razor and just put it on my face and get it over with that's a small thing nobody care about that whether you want to shave or not and brother Connie Francine and Daniel, they were out. And I was there at the window praying. And when they came back, they brought shaving cream, razor, and a little thing, bum free. And brother, that day, I used it, brother Wayne, and I applied it. And from that day, I can now shave with a razor. I don't need anything. I put away. She said, you're not going to use a shaving cream. It's going to waste. I don't need it. Because a God who I serve, he care about some little things. Oh, somebody don't hear me this morning. I said, a God who I serve, he care about some little things in your life. I wonder if you hear me, somebody. You don't have to go down in Pentecostal prayer. But let, let, oh, when you've got the token, apply the token. Hallelujah. Because he said, full obedience to the word, entitle you to the token. Hallelujah. Therefore, I tell you the bigger things. If you've got a landlord that you can't manage, apply the token. If you've got a boss at work that giving you a hard time, apply. If you've got a neighbor that come from hell, apply the token. Yes, if you've got a wife or a husband that you can't deal with, apply the token. If you've got parents that you can't manage because they're from hell, apply the token. Jesus, my Lord, my Lord, you live below your privilege. Here is it, God give it to you. Hallelujah, you've, re you've refrained from using it. If God said it, that settles it. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Oh, so Naaman, the servant had to shame him. Sometimes you have to shame. Eh? God brings up things uh, to shame you. And because of him shame, hey, my master, my father, respect you know, if the prophet did tell you some big thing, would you do it? Yes. Then why am I if he tell you to do some little thing? Come on, consider your way. And, and then begin to look into it, man. But you, you, know, you, you know you're right. Sometime even a little child. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. One of your big problems when you feel like you reach. You reach and nobody can talk to you. Nobody can tell you anything. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. Uzziah think that him reach. God give him mighty battles. And he come out every time as a victor. He no longer listen to the king. No, or the priest. Amen. So he had a little problem. And him get him sense from going down. Amen. To the temple, to the tabernacle. To offer sacrifice for myself. For you not big enough to offer it on my stead. And they try to tell him, king, don't do it. It is not your place. God is a God of order. Church, God is a God of order. If God don't anoint you for it, leave it alone. Hello, I tell you, I go to my bed seven nights, uh, and the nights that I have more problem uh, is Saturday night uh, because I need to keep in mind uh, I want to find the mind of God uh, for the people. And you might think that you know, you might feel that you have a message, uh, you might feel that you find something, uh, but what I want to preach uh, is not what I want to preach, uh, I want to say what God would put in my mouth to say. Is that right? Hey, I mean, there's people you want to hear something from somebody that you can bring to the pulpit. God didn't say that. I wonder if you hear me, but I want to say, Lord, only what you put in my mouth to say. Hallelujah. Some people, when they go to preach, they preach themselves. Is that right? I'm righteous, you're not. Hallelujah. And I'm better than you. Hey, I mean, that's not preaching. Someone they go to preach, uh, if they ever give you anything, if you ever borrow anything from them, that is a subject. Uh, I want if you hear me, somebody. Uh, amen. But when you come to the altar, amen, you've got to be like Moses. Uh, it is not your will, uh, it is God's will. Uh, it is not your commission. God, give the commission uh, and you follow. Brethren, I tell you, it's got to be between you and God. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Amen. There's people. Hallelujah will come. Hallelujah. And they believe in nobody but themselves. Here's a run. Amen. I tell you, if you're going to be a leader, you first need to follow. Because if you're not a good follower of God, you're not a good leader. Are you there with me? Amen. So I said, Lord, order my step by your word. Hallelujah. Micah 6 and verse 8. That's the team of my life. I show you, hallelujah, I show you, man, what is good and what the Lord requires of thee to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Brethren, I tell you what, uh, for this walk, uh, you've got to give up your rights. So when you come to the point to say, uh, I don't care what they say, uh, me not talk to them again, uh, me not walk with them, you're not a servant of God. You've got to humble yourself uh, under the mighty hand of God. Uh, let God use you. Hallelujah. Amen, brethren, humble yourself. Uh, that's what God wants. Amen. God don't want a man that is lifted up. Sometimes you think because of the gift in your life, God really wants you. And God will do well with you. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. But I tell you, Lucifer was a very quiet master in heaven. And heaven did without him. He's a right. What about you? 
The Bible said on the angels uh, that kept it and kept not their first estate uh, is reserved uh, in darkness. Uh, hallelujah. Are you telling me? Uh, it's not you. It's not God wants you. It's you want God. Humble yourself uh, under the mighty hand of God. If you can't lift up, uh, don't tear down. Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Sometimes let your nay be nay and your yea be yea. Is that right? Don't let your tongue, amen, be like a knife that slaughter. Are you telling me? But love the brotherhood. Amen. The Bible said in St. John 8, by this shall all men know that you're my disciple because you have love one for the other. Love without respect of persons. Oh, glory. If you love those who love you, you do what all men do. But if you love them that hate you and despitefully use you and persecute you, then are you doing the will of God? Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Hallelujah. Nehemiah had to be broken down. Amen. They had to shame him. And when he shame him, he turned around. Amen. And go to the little dirty river. Amen. Called Jordan. That the prophet says, that's where you must wash. Hallelujah. And then he washed seven times. Oh, we could have preached a whole message in that. Is that right? Seven times him dip. And when him dipped the seven times, the Bible said him skin was like a little child. Oh, glory. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. Lord God, me not done yet. Hallelujah. Amen. So he went back to the prophet to pay him respect. Hallelujah. And said, I give you so much shekel of gold and silver. And whatever riches I give to you. And the prophet Elijah said, keep it. Keep it, man. Me no want it. Hallelujah. Keep it. Me no want it. Are you there with me? Abraham said one time, less them said they make Abraham rich. Uh, me no want what you have. God is my provider. God is my portion. Hallel Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, listen to me, brethren. That is why people of God must not be licky licky. We Jamaicans know what that means. You know, if you beggy beggy. Hello. Sometime you must come down to the place. If I don't have her, I'm going to do it out. What is it? It is God's training. Is that right? But if somebody make a proposal, you don't wonder who they are. Everything you think God give you. I said something they write last week. They said when you come to church, who will lamp on your handbag? Who will lamp on your wallet? Hallelujah. Who will lamp on your possession? Because somebody might see it and think it's God's blessing to them. Hallelujah. I said, hold on your wallet, why? Because if you let it loose, somebody might go see it. And when they hold me, they think, say, God bless them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm watching it, you know. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Eh? Hey! You put on your phone. And they want a phone a long time, you know. Hallelujah, and they see it. Glory. They say, thank you, Lord, for your blessing. You liar thief. Hey, Amen. You, you, you think I joke? Hello. Because them get it to the fix. Hey, Amen. When they want to type here, men and get riches. Type here, men and say, get riches. Pass the ten people and get rich, you liar devil. God no work, so the Bible said by the sweat of your brow. Lord Jesus, man.
Come on, man. Somebody sit on a wait for somebody just pour it out upon them. Maybe then teethy. He'll fame riches. And they say, thank you, Lord. No, God, no, give you. Hey, hey, oh, Jesus, my Lord. Hello. By the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread. Is that right? Oh, I tell you, when Elijah was down by the brook, share it. God sent him there. God sustained him. Is that right? And God building him in theater. The brook dry up. Some of you said, if God did send him there, the brook wouldn't dry up. He's a writer, but he walk on in faith, believing in God. And a little widow woman with one last muscle of meat, being one last cruise of oil. And the prophet of God went there and said, beat me one verse. Because she say, this is all we have. We going to bake one last cake. We going to eat it. And we going to die. And the man of God said, Bake me one first. You know what we know that do? Some of you that go over your neighbor. I would find them when I believe. And say, so You can imagine Bahle Elijah. Him come down a yard. And I one last Masla meal and the last little cruise of oil. And we did all eat it and dead. And boy, my prophet him say, We must bake him one first. Tell me now, God in that. And it won't no shake on no her head. On no a liar, the hypocrite. Hello! Standing in faith. For little is much. When God is in it. Labor not for wealth of him. There's a crown. And you must win it. If you come in Jesus' name. They offer Abraham money. Hallelujah. They offer him the land free. Yeah. Eh? Take your land free. We give it to you. Abraham said, No. Lest when God multiply me upon the land, you say, You make Abraham rich. I want it to be that when we when reach there, I know that is the hands of God. I know God provide. I know that I've labored. I know that I've been through some dark valleys. I know that I've been to bed many times. Amen. Without food. But I was holding on to the hands of God. And the God who wake me up in the morning. That God see me through. And because of that God. I'm standing where I'm standing. Humble thyself. Under the hands of God. Oh Jesus. If God said two nights. Without. Go the mile with him. Is that right? If God said walk this one with me. Don't look for com company. Walk it with God. What we want is great applaud. Or somebody said we do it together. No sir. Hallelujah. There are times I like to be. All alone. With Christ my Lord, I can tell him of my trouble all alone. Hallelujah. Don't do things for men's applaud. No one when you do your harm among men. Sometimes don't let your right hand know where your left hand do. Glory. Some preachers in the pulpit, what they can talk about. Brother Connie is what they give you. The times you are down and they help you up. They have no reward. The Bible says when you do your harms. Hallelujah. Don't do it like the hypocrites. Is that right? Don't let your right hand or your left hand do. I want you to hear me somebody. For your reward is in heaven. If you feed the poor. The poor of conscience. And you come and tell everybody. You feel good lifted up. But how the poor feel. Swill down to the ground. Is that your shame? Your shame. Is that right? Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, my Lord. Bless the Lord. Glory. And if you go anybody yard and eat, don't sow them eat at them yard. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. They, 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 are, they, they are humbled 
by the little they have. Amen. If you're going, give thanks. Bless the house. Bless what is given to you. And walk out with pride. Give glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, I don't know what I'm preaching these things. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Amen. But I'll tell you what. Hallelujah. Have that attitude. Amen. That you and God, you're going to make it true no matter what. Are you there with me? Amen. I love the little family that come together and said, no, listen. Amen. We don't have what it takes and we don't know where to turn. But this we are going to do as a family. We're going to trust in God. Amen. And we know. Hallelujah. We'll never be ashamed. For he said he'll never let you be ashamed. He'll never let your enemies triumph over you. And with the little that you have, hallelujah, bless God with it. Amen. There's some people, amen, that will never be blessed. And while they will never be blessed, because they shut up their bowels of mercy. And they look over at somebody else. Amen. But I tell you, whatever God bless you with, bless somebody else. Love, not in words only. God bless him and God will provide. Is that right? But break it down. Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Ooh. Hallelujah. Obey God's voice. Eh? I tell you, if you're too mean, you can't hear God's voice, you know. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, if you give what you don't want, you haven't given anything. Hallelujah. I was somewhere and they said, they're going to send clothes to Africa. And they carry them dirty whole clothes. They never even wash them. Anything with tear and hole and they never even wash them again. They don't throw it because, you know, it's like a garbage yard show. And then somebody had to tell them, say. Because them things, so when them go, them all say, people in a jungle, I come out a hole. Hey. You, you know, when I went to Liberia, they were going to pack a container of food to send to Liberia. And when I go down there, Brother Connie, I tell the brothers, I say, no send no food down here. Them no want no food. Because people who want food can't look so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them in the darkness because they have no electricity. And they have no running water. Help them with that. Yeah. But woman, when they no food, can't look so good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I tell you they were blessed. I said, them no want no more food. Somehow they have food. You take what you don't want and give to people. Like say you're giving to dogs. Eh? And then you go tell everybody, like say, God, I go bless you with that. Oh, God will bless you with that. God, God can't bless you with that. Is that right? But when you buy a nice shirt, you go and bless your brother. Buy one for him too. You, you think because him not have him, can't wear a new shirt? Uh, one where we're out giving. And, and when, when you give him, everybody knows, you know, I first never seen that, and I know you know, you because I wash out. Huh? When Monique was a little girl, you know, I tell you, if, if the wife give you any clothes, you know, you better watch where we, you know, because she know her mother clothes them, you see? Sister, so and so of our mama dress, mommy dress. You know, watch those things, you know. So, so give them a new one. The lesson I'm giving you. Uh, hello? Give them a new, you're going to give, shoe, give them new shoes. Huh? Hallelujah. And when you go, get it for them, no care nobody. You, you never hear that? When you go and get it for them, don't care nobody. And when you go and deliver it, don't care nobody. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. And take off your price tag. Next thing, then things are then woe you. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, man. And so, coming down on you now. Now, torture you too long. Because I know it's a Lord make him done. Lord make him done. Come, come down in the corner, you know. Lord make him done, you know. Because Lord have a jacket in the closet. Lord. Why you should say, bless him, Lord. Make him come down there. Make him fling the door wide open, Lord. Eh? Shame me like name and make me turn around. Hello! And name and say, me no want it. Be on your way. Hallelujah. I, I'm sorry. Elijah said, I don't want it. Be on your way. And name and turn his chariot and on his way. And we name down his servant. Geza. Hallelujah. And, and can't believe, say, man, you turned down that. Four wheel drive vehicle. Chariot with that light. Huh? You turned, man, you fool. There was a reason. You turned on that. So what him do? Him turn behind the chariot. Run it down. You're running down your destruction. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. I say little is much when God is in it. So him turn around. Run down there man. Me can't believe my master. Turn down this. I could have do well with it. You, you know what I say? You know what it? Because you are right. You well off. You know what? But me, me have to take you. Oh Lord, you know have to buy a lot to carry you well off. You know, but me have to buy. If everything was all right with the wire, if you hide when you're in a line. Where you hide for? Because when you win it, where you say, God give you? Huh? Hello. Hello. Jesus, my Lord. Hallelujah. So, Elisha, you know, auntie. You can't speak the word and get anything. But may I run him down. Oh God. The Bible says, oh hallelujah. And Naaman said, be content. Take two talent. And he urged him and bound two talent of silver in two bags. With two charges of, of garment. And laid them upon two of the servant. And they bear them before him. He may even give them. Beer of a cat and feed no guy too much feed carry him one. And when he came to the tower, he took them from their hands and bestowed them in the house, and he let the men go, and they departed. And he went in and stood before his master. And Elijah said unto him, Lord Jesus, my Lord. <laughs> It's all right, you hide you know. It's all right. Hallelujah. But where you get it? Hey, hey. hey, God have mercy this morning. And he went in and stood before his master. Yes, I didn't know. Brother Branham said in the last day, the days of Ananias and Sapphira come back. The days of Ananias and Sapphira come back. Lord Jesus. Oh Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. When comest thou, Geza? And he said, Thy servant went no whither. I just said they don't you know. If you got a light to cover it, listen to me, church. If you have a life to cover it, don't take it. 
If you have a light to cover it, don't take it. Lord Jesus, look how long you walk with your master. You see God's hand there with him. You disprove God. You don't believe that you stand here now before him and he asks the question and you start to lie. Oh, let us read on. Amen. And he said unto him, when not thine heart with thee, when the man turn again from his chariot to meet thee, is it a time to receive money and to receive garment? Lord Jesus. What kind of man is this? No wonder they didn't tell the king of the Assyrian that there's a man in Israel. If you say a word in your bed chamber, him tell the king of Israel. I doubt the man we are talking about. You don't remember? L -l -l Let me slip this before I go there. But Brother Peregrine says, you know the people say he's not a preacher. And he had a complex. As a young man he had a complex because the people say, you're not a preacher. So he said he wanted to ask Brother Branham, am I called to preach? So he said he was coming down from Canada and they were traveling alone and he said, no, I get the chance to ask him. I'm going to ask him, am I a preacher? And he said he was thinking about it as he come waiting, you know, at the right moment. And he said, just before the word come out of his mouth, Brother Branham said, Brother Perry, God sent your father from a certain place to meet your mother at a certain place because you had to be born under a certain sign because a son of God, a preacher, is to be born. Help me, Lord. Ah! So what are you going to tell me now? Woo! I'd preach morning, noon, and night. I'd preach when you feel I mustn't preach. I would preach because God say. When God validated. When God vindicated. Where are you going to do? Huh? Jesus, my Lord. Woo! Amen. What kind of man is this? No, amen, did he? And I don't, I let the servants go on back after them deliver the thing. And hear now my master. Hallelujah. Glory, where I come from. And me say, me, me not going away. And he, he said, Lord, Lord, yes, sir. When not thine heart with thee, your heart in you know, that's why you go. Because when me send him man on and tell him, me no want it, your heart couldn't give you. You have to go after it. And so you went, I hear you now. I turn again from his chariot and meet you. It's the time you receive money. You receive garment, olive yards, vineyard, sheep, oxen, men servant and maid servant. Not no hide from God. Oh Jesus. You, you believe him know you this morning? Humble yourself. Church. Church. Humble yourself. Under the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. This is a judgment now. And the leprosy. Therefore. Huh? Because of the lie. Because of the lie. The leprosy of therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence a leper, a leper as white. As no. Some people say the prophet put leprosy upon him. 
Talk to me, church. And we say him bring leprosy upon himself. Because he lied to the Holy Ghost. I wonder if Ananias did read that. When people begin to sell what they have. And bring it to the temple. And nobody now asks him for do it. But if Ananias want to look like him. Do what everybody do. Hello. And them sell and them hold peace. And they bring it and said, see, this is what we get for it. It's not the problem that he bring part of it, you know. He could have said to Peter, we sell it, we hold part, and we're giving this. But they lie to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, my Lord. Church, when you come before God, you're naked. Church, when you come before God, you're naked before him. You can say anything to man. And if they ask you a question, it's better to keep quiet. You not say nothing. Hallelujah. Jesus, for the leprosy, come on him. Didn't Ananias read that? And know that the leprosy of, of Naaman. Come on, Geza. And he come before Peter and said, this is all we got. And him dropped dead and they bring out his body. And his wife coming after. No, no, sir. Because you say she stay back because she not count out for her own. Woman like count out the money, you know. Man pushing her back, woman count out the money first. Because the one know how much them get. And so she come a little late. If she was earlier, she would have realized. But she come later. And the disciples ask her the question. Oh, we sell it and this is all we get. It's in the hands of him that carry out your husband. Lord Jesus is waiting for you on the door to carry you out to. And brethren, he happened to Geza. Then he happened to them Ananias and Sapphira. And here we are this morning. Elisha said, Geza, your heart go before you. And this morning, your heart is going before you. Where you stand with God this morning. If God asks you a great thing, would you conform? But the Holy Spirit says, he that exalt himself shall be a base. But he that humble himself shall be exalted. Naked you come into this world. And I don't care what you have, what you put on when you come to God. Naked you are before God your creator this morning. There is no shadow of turning in him. There's nothing hidden from him this morning. And this morning, what we need is the mercies of almighty God. But what a promise we have. Goodness and mercy. Shall follow thee all the days of thy life. Come musicians. Hallelujah. The Bible said you shall eat the good of the land. The Bible said you shall prosper. But God said I'll make you the head and not the tail. But where are you standing this morning with God? Oh, a vessel of honor, so scarred by sin. Oh, I bless the day this morning that God never throw the clay away. What about your clay this morning? Oh, but I bless the day the songwriter said. He never throw the clay away, but over and over, 
He mold me and make me into his likeness. It's fashion the clay. A vessel of honor. You can be today. Because Jesus, he will never throw the clay away. These are instructions for you this morning. And he asked this morning, where do you stand in the story? Everybody has a part. You either a Naaman or an Elisha or Gehazi. You are one of them this morning. You could be that man this morning that he spat on the ground and oh, made clay and he put over your eyes and you can see. What would you say about him? Or you could be a scoffer this morning that's trying to find something to disprove that he is who he is this morning. Where do you stand with God? Empty and broken. Is there a vessel for God this morning? It over again. I bless the day He didn't throw the clay away. Sisters, will you come over? Mold me and me. Oh, is there another this morning? Into his likeness, fashions the clay, a vessel of honor. I am today Oh, because Jesus did a drover clay Lord Jesus Lord God, one humble come before you this morning Lord Jesus because there's a need, God, oh God, to be touched by you. Lord God, this morning we know that the deep call to the deep. And there's got to be a deep to respond this morning. Lord Jesus, freely has he come to you, oh God. You say, Lord God, he that heareth my words and believe on him that sent me have eternal life. Lord, he that believe and is baptized the same shall be saved. But Lord God, he that believe and not shall be damned. Lord God, we come believe in you this morning. The Lord God, ever the desire of his heart, may you answer this morning. Lord God, may you heal his body, his man. Lord God, is surrounded, oh God. May you pray with your angels, oh God. Lord God, protect him in all his ways. Move upon his life, oh God. That Lord God, we might see a brand new vessel. Oh God, ready for the master's use. Oh Jesus, you can let the yesterday be renewed for tomorrow. And we ask that to you, God, today. In Jesus' name.